Hello everyone, I'm back with another video of uh, a PvP match uh, from myself against Anno. Um, I'm playing Pure Nature in, in this match and uh, starting with Spearman against uh, Shadow. Um, I'm doing this because Swiftclaw is quite bad against Shadow because it completely gets destroyed by Nox Troopers. And Anno's picking up a power wall with his Dread Charger. So I think he realized that I'm playing nature because he's sort of using an unusual way of uh, on this map because usually you want to go for the middle um, but um, against nature you can also use this path to attack the main base which is sort of uh, one of nature's weaknesses because I picked up a power mill by myself and I sort of need to make sure both both uh, bases are safe and split attacks are very effective against nature and this is probably why he used this uh, this approach here and since he saw that I also moved my uh, spearman he's trying to bait me into into uh, moving upwards to, to stretch charges so he can attack one of my bases with my spearman just walking over here around doing nothing so right now he's still waiting trying to bait me and I'm still waiting here for him to uh, do something and uh, as you can see power the power is going to stack up which is uh, quite uh, interesting. <laughs> well, it's not interesting. Um, well, if I play units, he can simply go tier 2 by himself. Um, so since there's a lot of power involved, uh, I will move the Spearman forward. And uh, as you can see, tier 2 is co coming immediately. If I would have played another unit, like Wind Weavers or something, he could simply just go with his tier 2 units down to my power well and destroy it. So I, I, I just simply can't spawn anything here and this is why I kept the Spearman over here and picked up tier 2 by myself. Um, I will use the Spearman because I just simply know from this position there's no way I can follow the Strat Charger which is heading immediately for my main base. He's completely trying to focus down this well because nature has early early problems of defending against uh, borrowers and stuff so I will also use the swift cloud to intercept as early as possible because since uh, nature has no M very good M counter because uh, ghost spears and spirit hunters are both S units and will be knocked back by hurricane against shadow nature I will try to intercept as early as possible I try to root down the dread charger over here as you can see can't spawn borrowers out of the root range so this is sort of perfectly placed and he has to place you see by himself he lost ne he nearly lost the dread charger and now I'm trying to pick up the dread charger he's trying to eye down on this hang down on the swell which is uh, pretty, pretty obvious but I'm using another squad here squirt hunters and body blocking this bar over the dread charger is low anyways doesn't do too much um, as you can see the body block completely delayed the bar over attack this one got spawned here but rooted immediately because you can't spawn units just there directly uh, next to the buildings. The spearman had to be defended by another borrower, so he had to uh, sort of spend a little bit power here. So my spearmen still were somewhat useful. And as you can see, this this attack got defended completely, which is a uh, very very good start start for me because nature has a very very bad time uh, at defending borrowers in the early game because as I said, these counters these are my M counters and. Uh, they are very very vulnerable to crowd control so I'm using the energy parasite quite early to sort of force him to play first of all this MI phantom which isn't a borrower so it's <laughs> sort of easier to defend and also I can apply some split pressure to get up my bonus power um, since I have a lot of units I, I can go for this move otherwise borrowers will be quite hard to defend um, as you can see he's still trying to to go over to this base um, and split attack again this is why i'm moving the swift claw directly to intercept early again um, as you can see the mi phantom i dodged that by using the the energy parasite's uh, ability to fly over these uh, cliffs here um, and right now he had to use an oink already so in theory i spent 50 power he already had, he had to spend 55 this was worth it anyways so th Your this one no gets into, into his root again so the mf phantom clearing out the energy parasite immediately but as you can see my swift law um trying to do its best but he tried to save his borrower by massing uh massing m units over here so even though this one will be defended easily i still got a big 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 thing here to defend but as you can see i'm uh, i'm stacking uh, my crowd control again i used the root early 
So I, I can use the oink here and uh, root again. So this is uh, pretty much the advantage of intercepting early because you can use your ensnaring roots twice. And this is allowing me just so much more time to defend against this this strong attack, even though I don't have that much power. Um, as you can see, the the borrowers are still at my power wall, so this is quite quite dangerous. So I'm waiting for this to run out, so I can oink again probably, or, or I'll just use the Rogan Kale, which is also an option, um, because Rogan is also another CC source that is stackable. Okay, I sort of micro manage that poorly. Um, but as you can see, like I'm completely using all my crowd control sources to intercept between attacks and as you can see, co just delaying the ability again because I want to have as much crowd control time as possible because this one was oinked so I can use the ability slightly, slightly later. As you can see, the, the borrowers aren't doing, doing too much right now. Um, another oink trying to trying to get for the power, but I will oink by myself, and the Rogan will have his ability again, so I can sort of chain CC because this ability is not stacking up with other crowd control sources, so I can pretty much CC these units forever. When he runs out, I can just walk up and do that again if anything gets uh, gets too dangerous. As you can see, another ability usage, and it's going to be defended again. In the meantime, my Shrine of Memory that was built up in a couple of, couple of minutes earlier is ready to be activated. So right now my void flow completely speeds up to plus 15 as you can see it's just sitting at plus 9 even though I have less void than him. Um, I'm getting a, a huge huge power boost right now which is uh, allowing me not just to defend this attack but also trying to attack by myself with borrowers on the side. Um, and as you can see um, this is sort of thing you need to do with nature sort of stalling, stalling for uh, for your Shrine of Memory timing, build that up, then defend again, and once your it's running, you are attack. up to attack, to attack your opponent. This route was not optimal, as you can see, because it's not completely um, zoning out the entire space here. I can walk around that uh, around that quite easily. Um, he's using a lot of units trying to defend that, but I try to split up with my borrowers. This one's still going on, this one's still running. These units are trying to walk into the offensive spot, but as you can see, it takes a little bit of time. As you can see, once the shrine runs out, my void uh, void flow just drops down to plus four, which is simply nothing. But um, as you can see, this well was already damaged from the spearman attack and never got repaired. So um, this is the advantage of attacking at two spots. While he used his crowd control over here, there's not too much left to defend over here. And uh, this is why the power well here dropped. Even though my heal here came a little bit too late, that was uh, a little bit uh, unfortunate. Um, we still do have the Spirit Hunters and the Rogan Kale um, zoning out the the Dark of Assassins. He has to move them. Bar over here trying to save that from the Nightcrawlers. There's no, no reason to attack the monument. It's not going to fall down. Um, yeah, the Spirit Hunters here poisoning the Dark of Assassins. They, they die. So... Um, pretty pretty stable stable uh, position for me because he has a lot of units running around but I do have the spirit hunters that can uh, do a lot of work against that and as you can see early route again to to intercept here I can use my night cr uh, my borrower in defense together with the ghost spears they're going to beat the night crawler as you can see spirit hunters here attacking through uh, for the night crawler that got just seceded by Rogan so they can't fight I'm completely poisoning these ones. He did a good job though at catching my energy par parasite with his MI Phantom so that were completely blocking the entire area so he could oink and kill them. Um, even though he lost uh, his uh, attacking army here again and my yes, Shrine of Memory attack. starts to give me a huge, huge boost in power again so I pick up another power by myself so I, I'm up uh, two powers right now. This one got retreated a little bit too late so some small micro mistakes by me here. Uh, but overall I'm still in a very safe spot. So since I'm at the power advantage right now with my shrine running, he has 190 by himself to play something, but he still wants to also uh, uh, do as much work in offense and uh, try to intercept this, this with the deep one. Um, yeah, so still trying to get these, these ones as early as possible. So. Even though 
yeah, intercept with CC, I can do a little bit extra damage. Right now the Night Guard is oing because simply it's going to overtake my Deep One once one, once it's out of uh, out of uh, that CC, so I will kill that immediately, so she can't swap um, my Deep One, which would be quite bad for, for my attack. Um, and right now I'm just simply doing the double Deep One attack. Since the Night Guard is gone, there's not, not that much left to stop that. Sure, I'm trying to trying to delay this, but as you can see, the Shrine of Memory po uh, Snowball is quite powerful. This attack is going to be defended, and um, right now the orb is going to drop quite soon. Even though he overtakes one of my deep ones, the, the other one is going to destroy the orb, and I'm heading down f uh, to kill the night guard, trying to pull that with my deep one, so we can focus that with both deep ones, so she can't swap in time, simply for that. There she died. Um, picking up another power wall to establish the position and the game is over. As I uh, sort of realized that nature replays seem to be quite uh, interesting for a lot of players, I thought of uploading one again. Um, I hope you liked it and uh, thanks for watching.